Taylor's Falls to take in the beauty of the St. Croix River, there is a chance that you might have hopped aboard the Taylor's Falls Scenic Boat Tour. Yeah, that's the uh, paddle wheel boat still running up and down the river, something it's done there since the early 1900s. Over the years, the boat has seen a lot of captains behind the wheel, but in the last 44 years, it has not had one like this. Fox 9's Karen Scullin takes us on a ride with Captain Sophie. I grew up here, so it's just always something that I want to come home to, and I just love the scenery here. Home is the dramatic cliff walls that drop into the rippling waters of the St. Croix River. Rock climbers, kayakers, and so many people just taking it in, like Sophie Jury does every time she's at the helm. There's a lot of changes in the scenery. I mean, the river level is always changing, so you see new things. Sophie had been watching those subtle changes for six years from everywhere on the boat, but from behind the wheel. So Sophie set out to chart a new course, and she embarked on a mission to captain the boat. I decided that I wanted to take that next step, and that was something that I wanted to do and show everybody that I could do it. 365 days of training, and it was official this yeah. summer. Behind the wheel is Captain Sophie, and my name is Jack. Sophie is the first female captain aboard the Taylor's Fall Scenic Boat Tours in 44 years. There's been some grandmothers that come up with their grandchildren and like, oh, we've never had like a woman captain. We love to see it. And it's just something that makes me feel good about driving the boat and seeing people from all over the world. They come down here. Cheering Sophie all the way is company co-owner Amy Frischman. It had been a long time since a woman was in charge of the boat, and there had only been four in the history of the company that was launched in 1906. Ironically, the first two female boat pilots were Amy's grandmother and great grandmother, although becoming a captain back then was a bit simpler. So to become a boat pilot back way back when you had to go to the city office, pay one dollar and you had to have two people vouch that you were of sound moral character and then you were given your boat license. So grandma had her license, but she also had better things to do on the boat than actually drive it. Everybody remembers uh, uh, Grandma Ann and being down on the boat and she sat up on the bow and she knit. Um, as the others piloted the boat because you needed to have that <laughs> licensed pilot on the boat. So while Sophie is an example that things do change, on the St. Croix River itself, real change is slow. A hundred years ago could have been yesterday. We're still pointing out the same rock formations along the way. If you look closely, you'll see a goatee and a little handlebar mustache. The river looks the same. It's still beautiful and clean and healthy. And that's exactly what keeps people coming back and why right now Sophie drives three hours to Taylor's Falls from college every weekend. It's the beauty, it's the people, it's home. So if you want to see Sophie's skills at work, she's pulling out every single weekend through the end of the season. In Taylor's Falls, Karen Scullin, Fox 9.